parallel and perpendicular line question 23 write equation of a line perpendicular to y equals to 4x passing through p 5 comma minus 1 so these are slightly difficult problems and now you need to give equation of a line so when you read these problems try to write down what do you get from the problem and then what you need to do to get the answer okay so when it says write equation of a line perpendicular to the given line perpendicular means what slope should be let m perpendicular be m perpendicular the slope should be negative reciprocal right that's what i was looking for negative reciprocal so this is what you need to find negative reciprocal of slope from the given equation now for us the equation is y equals to 4x can you tell me what is the slope of this line slope of the line is coefficient of x so the slope is given as 4 is that okay if slope is 4 what is the slope of perpendicular line see this symbol I am using for perpendicular line do you see that m perpendicular it should be negative reciprocal negative reciprocal means 1 over 4 so now we know slope is minus 1 over 4 for our perpendicular line secondly we also know it goes through point 5 minus 1 and it goes through point 5 minus 1 now with this we should be in a position to write down equation of our line so we start by writing general equation of a line so line in slope intercept form we'll use line in slope and y intercept form so what is the equation in slope and intercept form it is y equals to mx plus b right where m is a slope and b is y intercept now we know slope we know a point but we don't know y intercept so the idea is to isolate and find what b is from given information given information is the point and the information we found that is perpendicular line slope should be minus 1 over 4 so we'll rewrite this equation substitute these values so what we are trying to do here is that we are trying to substitute the values m m equals to minus 1 over 4 and x and y as x is 5 from the point right and y is minus 1 how do we get these points x and y this is from our point 5 comma minus 1 so always first value in our coordinate system is x and the next value is y okay and this is the name of the point it could be a b c d in this case it is p so these are the things which we are going to use to find the value of b okay so let's try to do it so this y is minus 1 so let me write minus 1 here let me rewrite the equation first okay we have y equals to mx plus b so y is minus 1 so we say minus 1 equals to slope is minus 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4 x value you can take from here 5 plus b so that is our equation right so this is minus 1 equals to minus 5 over 4 plus b so to solve for b we have to take this on the other side we say minus 1 plus 5 over 4 equals to b now it is kind of fractions how will you do this so we take we have to make minus 1 as something over 4 that is possible by making it multiplying by 4 right think like this it is minus 1 over 1 so it is minus 4 over 4 plus 5 over 4 right which is the value of b now from here what is b 5 minus 4 is 1 right over 4 so we get from here let me write b here right b equals to minus 1 over 4 so that is the value of b once we know b then we can write equation the equation becomes y equals to m which is minus 1 over 4 x and b is also minus 1 over 4 so that is the equation of our line 
I hope you understand and get how to do these kinds of problems. I'll appreciate if you go through this video once again and try to understand the whole process. Okay? Once you've done question 24 is for you to try. Okay? And that becomes a part of your test. So test whether you've really understood or not. If not, watch the video once again. Follow the steps and then do it. Okay? So here Right equation of line perpendicular to y equals to 2x, slope of the line is 2, slope of perpendicular line will be minus half. So you know the slope, minus half. You know the point, minus 2 and minus 1. So when you write y equals to mx plus b, in that equation you can write minus half for m, minus 2 for x, minus 1 for y and find b. Once you get b, you can write your equation as I wrote. Okay, thank you.